Uh, Jason, Riath, great to have you with us. Um, we're we're going to start off with, uh, with blue cards. And, and we know that this is something being described and discussed um, by IFAB and, you know, details of the protocols coming out and then ultimately trials potentially happening in the FA Cup or the Women's FA Cup next season. Jason, is this needed in football? Do we need a third coloured card? It's a really good question. Um, I think we, we all know the answer is no. Um, I think it comes from a good place. Um, the idea, obviously, thinking that um, dissent and, and even more so, you know, cynical fouls and, and, and tactical fouls warrant more than just a, a yellow card. Um, but I just think this overcomplicates the game. It really does. Uh, we don't need this. We'll, we're in a situation at the moment where we're all being quite stressful and angst-ridden about VAR and changes and complications and almost turning football into a video game. And now we're going to be asking referees to walk around with yellow cards, red cards and blue cards and we'll be wondering whether, which one they're going to pull out. And I think it just makes it far more complicated, far more uh, difficult to, to sort of understand. There'll be more, even more contention, even more arguments over decisions, whether that actually warranted a, a blue card or whether it should just be a yellow card and, and so on and so forth. I think, as I say, it comes from a good place. And I, and I think the dissent element of it is really useful, especially in grassroots football, especially for young children. But I think for professional athletes, professional football players, I really think they don't need this extra layer of basically punishment. That they, I really just think what we need is a, a far stronger crackdown on the use of yellow cards so that, that the referees are much stronger on these areas, that dissent is not countenance, that they do take action against players who are, who are, who are rude to them, who are giving them a mouthful and actually with, with cynical fouls, they may be a bit braver and look straight to red cards for those sorts of things rather than yellow. So I think, I think that's what I would call for. But as I say, I think it's coming from a good place, but I think it will overcomplicate the game and cause yet more frustration for the, uh, for the fans. Uh, and when you think about the, the, the respect campaign and, and what happened there for a couple of weeks, you know, they implemented it and then sort of back to normal after that in terms of, you know, players and, and their addressing referees. Uh, Riyadh, let's, let's just talk about the, the issue here and, and Jason alluded to their dissent. How much of a problem do you think it is? And therefore, is this enough? I, I suppose, you know, this, this blue card idea, is it too much of an overcorrection to that problem or do you think it's an apt measure? It's interesting. Obviously, this dissent issue has been very prominent. We've seen the clampdown this season. The last statistics I saw on this, it was probably about a month ago. So apologies if I'm if I'm out of date on this, but the, you know, the yellow cards for dissent are up by I, I think they've sort of pretty much tripled this season. So, you know, the, the referees have been taking that proactive step. But this what we're looking at now is a far more Sort of severe deterrent, and it's whether or not that's in proportion to the problem. Have they given this sort of the, the existing clampdown enough enough room to breathe and see if that if that has an effect? Because we shouldn't forget as well if we're, when when team, teams are going down to ten men, you put someone in a sin bin for ten minutes. That that can have a drastic effect on the game. We see it. We see we see it in rugby. We saw it in um, we saw it in Wales, Scotland. At the weekend, when Scotland go down to 14, the sort of dramatic turnaround with, with, within the game. Now, football, the sort of limited currency game, one goal is worth an awful lot. You know, these could be these these could be sort of game shaping moments. Now, when we do start seeing these blue cards, I must admit, I'm I'm not directly opposed to it at the at this stage, having having had it only a few hours to think about it, because I do think dissent is a serious problem. Particularly, and as Jason said there, you need to start sending a message that reaches all the way down to the grassroots as well. And this will be, this will be a severe deterrent against it. It's just whether or not the trade-off, that extra meddling, that extra sort of layer of rules within the game, it, is, is, that, is, 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 is that going to become as big a problem? That, 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 that would be my concern here. Yeah, and I think when you think about the, the spectacle as well, Jason, I mean, Paul Merson has been quite critical of the idea of Simbins, thinking it would kill the Premier League, especially given the nature of the football that is played in England's top division. You know, you think of, you know, the Newcastle Luton game, which finished 4 4. If you had a player in a Simbin, well, that team that received the blue card could easily just sit players behind the ball and it would really slow up the tempo. Did you agree with, with Merson's sentiments there? Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. I think teams are so well organised now that they will just literally think, right, OK, for the next 10 minutes, 
we're going to be down to 10 men. We're going to, we're going to slow the play down. We're going to get behind the ball. We're going to just play out the next 10 minutes. So therefore we might even have yet more added time onto the game because that might not even be in the, to their disadvantage because they'll be back up to 11 men with the extra minutes that are added on. So yeah, I absolutely agree. I don't think that's going to be um, a problem for a lot of teams actually when they go down to 10 men because they'll be able to cope with that quite well for, for a 10 minute period. If it was longer than that, it would be a different scenario. But yeah, I, I totally agree with that. And I think that will have an effect on football. Coaches are so well organized nowadays, they'll be able to cope with it quite quite comfortably, but it will definitely ruin, not ruin, sorry, it will definitely make games less enjoyable and maybe change the tempo and, and, and so on and so forth of the game because teams will just think, well, we're not going to, we're going to shut up shop for the next 10 minutes until we get our guy back. Yeah, and, and you know, you hear of this old kind of cliche, I suppose, of it's often harder to score against 10 men than it is against 11 because obviously they revert to, to a system. And, and related to dissent and addressing a referee, what about this notion, Riath, of only the captain potentially speaking to the referee, like in, in rugby and obviously the comparison once again with, with the sport. What, what do you make of that? Yeah, you're right. It, it is. It's another one of those rules that that, that 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 seems to have been borrowed from rugby. I don't know how practical that is in football. Rugby's a lot more stop-start. You can have a lot more sort of scenarios, a lot more pauses for a captain to 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 to, to approach a referee in football. It's a, it's a little bit more frenetic. So I, I struggle to see necessarily how that will be applied. I, look, if we take the argument to the Sort of nth degree, we we you know we point we point to sort of Roy Keane, Nicky Butt, and a Manchester United horde surrounding the referee, and 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 clearly that's not right, and we don't we don't want to see that. I don't this 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 alternative feel it, it's an it's an interesting one. I'm not I'm not automatically opposed to it, but I, I think the application of it will be quite difficult. 